In this video, I'm going to share with you the three most common mistakes I see people with MS make related to managing their fatigue. Don't turn away because that starts right now. Hey! Howdy! And thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I'm the founder of the Boster Center for Multiple Sclerosis, where we care for families impacted by MS from around the globe. In this video, I want to share with you the three most common mistakes that I see people impacted by MS make when attempting to manage their fatigue. Let's jump in. Number one is eating sugar-laden foods. If you don't think that what you put in your mouth has any relation to your energy levels, you're off base. It really, really does. And in my experience, people who eat sugar-laden foods throughout the day, whether that be soda pop or highly processed foods that have high fructose corn syrup in it, or other sugar-laden candies or cakes or pastries or donuts, <laughs> it zaps your energy. Now, if you don't believe me, I double dog dare you to try the following. Cut sugar out of your diet for a week and see what happens. You will be amazed at what happens to your energy levels. My first mistake that I see people make is eating sugar-laden foods. Cut that out of your diet and you'll be amazed at the improvements you see to energy. Number two, not treating depression. People impacted by MS are twice as likely to experience a bout of depression compared to the general population. In the setting of depression, people can feel profoundly fatigued and we can do things to try to improve the fatigue with minimal or limited results. If you address the mood by treating the depression, whether that be through exercise or talk therapy or through antidepressants, there is a concomitant improvement to energy levels. This is an often overlooked area with a big bang for your buck if you treat it, so try that out. Number three is not taking a weekly drug holiday from your stimulant medications. This is a big one. Very commonly, in order to help someone impacted by MS manage fatigue, we may prescribe them a prescription medicine like ProVigil or NuVigil or Adderall or Ritalin, etc. These are stimulants that trick the brain into being awake. But if you take them seven days out of seven, over time, they literally can wear off. And so I oftentimes recommend that my patients take at least one day off a week, a lazy Sunday or a lazy Wednesday, etc. In my experience, if you take one day off a week, the medicine retains its oomph, and that drug holiday is paramount for the ongoing success of the stimulant. Now, I am not telling you to stop or start your stimulant, and of course, you have to talk to your doctor about their recommendation. I'm just sharing with you a very common mistake that I see. People take their stimulant seven days out of seven, and a couple months later, they say, Dr. B, it's not working. If you would like to learn more life hacks to up your game with MS and improve your energy levels, click the video that's on your screen right now. My name is Aaron Boster, and as always, thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next video or live stream, or better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, be safe and take care.